Hi friends, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. In this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to install WordPress on Google Cloud Platform. So right now, we are into console.cloud.google.com homepage and this is the dashboard of Google Cloud Platform. And this is the project. From here, you can choose your project. So let's leave it and here i'm using the free account of google cloud platform so if you are also interested in google cloud for free then go to the google and search for google cloud free then click on this link and here you are able to see that google cloud is offering 12 months with 300 dollar of free credit to get started with any gcp product and some of the services are in always free category you can read more details from here so leave it and then go to the navigation menu and click on it then click on the marketplace and here you are able to see that we have an option of wordpress so click on it click on launch on compute engine This is the deployment name. You can customize it and you can also choose your zone. Here I am using the US Central 1. And from here you can change the machine type also. You can change the configuration of your system. Here provide the administrator email ID. Here by default this check button is check that install php my admin boot disk size by default is 10 gb if you want to change it you can change it and here http traffic is by default allowed this is checked if you want to monitor your wordpress with stack driver you can check these options from here click on deploy And now it is going to take around 20 to 30 seconds. So let's wait. Okay friends, so WordPress is deployed and it has some warning and warning is related to the Python 3 so you can ignore it. So this is the site URL just click on it and okay this is a redirect notice so click on it. Okay so our WordPress is live now you can check here okay but one more thing is that now we have to bind this particular ip to our custom domain and also this ip will change when we restart our instance and here you can find all the details like wordpress mysql user password mysql root user and password this is the admin user email id and this is the password and this is the instance that is used to deploy the wordpress you can find this particular vm here in the compute engine vm instances here wordpress one vm so just click on it click on the edit okay and here on the network interface just click on is edit button and here on the external ip click on create ip address 
and give it name static and click on resolve click on done and now this particular static IP address is assigned to our machine and it is not going to check uh, delete or uh, remove from our this particular instance so this is a static IP address that is assigned to this particular VM instance so click on save here Okay, done. So click on VM instances again. And now this is the IP address. So just copy it. And if you are going to browse it, now it is not work. Now it will not work. So what we have to do is we have to use this particular IP address. I think we have to restart the Apache services. Let's see. okay it worked now fine so now what we have to do is we have to bind the domain for that click here on the navigation menu and go to the network services here we have an option of cloud dns so click on it and click on create zone here provide a zone name here I'm using the high technology and here we have to provide our domain name. So my domain name is high technology dot top and just click on the create button. Here zone type should be public. Done. So now what we have to do is we have to add these particular name servers to our domain. So for that let's go to the domain services and here click on the name server only this particular digit is changed in each name servers you can cross check from here that ns cloud c1 c2 c3 4 this is all this is the okay the dot is also required here one okay done update name server okay here okay here we have to change it three update name server name server has been updated successfully let's back to our so here we have added the name servers to our domain and now click on add record set but for that let's go here this is the ip okay fine so here click on the add record set and here record resource uh, resource record type should be a and here provide your ip address remove the http and click on create here 
here it is added so again click on add record set and this time give www and resource record type is c name and give it name high technology dot top and click on create okay so dns part is done so let's go to the browser and search for high technology dot top sometime it going to take some time so let's wait for it Let's see how much time it is going to take. So let's wait. I will mention the time that is taken by to reflect the name servers. Okay friends, so as you are able to see that our uh, domain name is now mapped and now it is working fine with the domain. Okay friends, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Have a nice day.